Check it out. One of the best ways to see wildlife in Victoria is to ride a bike. You can rent e-bikes from here and here. And these guys even rent motorcycles and gas-powered scooters. One of the best places to actually do wildlife spotting is right here in the Inner Harbor. In fact, you'll see seals, the occasional otter up on one of the docks, and just last week, orca, whole pot of orca came in and swam right underneath these seaplanes. If you positively absolutely have to see whales, sea lions, seals, eagles, then you absolutely must do one of the whale watching tours in Victoria. All the whale watching tour operators are amazing. They actually share information as to where the whales are located when they're out in the water. But if you want the best, make sure you go to BC Whale Tours. They are amazing. Super small boats, you get really low to the water, and you're gonna see some of these majestic creatures out in the wild. Another amazing place to spot wildlife is right here on Ogden Point. About a mile there and back out to the lighthouse and you're gonna be looking for seals, whales, you might even catch some otters playing on the rocks. And on the other side, there are some beautiful, beautiful creatures roaming around in here. Things like sea anemones and uh, starfish. You take a look on both sides when you're walking around here. Beautiful, beautiful views as well. After you've enjoyed Ogden Point, what you'll want to do is ride along the bike trails all the way along the coast, along Dallas Road, taking in the views. You're going to be looking out for, again, more seals and more wildlife out in the ocean. And you can take it all the way up to Beacon Hill Park, which is going to be our next stop. One of the most amazing fun things to do, it's not quite wildlife, like they're not out in the wild, but it's to come and see the running of the goats. Right here in Beacon Hill Park at the children's farm. Over my shoulder here, after the running of the goats, they're put into a pen. You can come in here and play with them. They'll climb on your back. It's an absolute hoot. So you want to see some wildlife while you're here in Victoria? Beacon Hill Park is a fabulous place to start. Right here, these are chickadees, and they're very, very tame. You can come by here. If you've got a couple of nuts in your back pocket, you can bring and share them with the, the chickadees. Plenty of deer, some Canada geese and ducks, of course. You've already seen the Beacon Hill Farm for the children's farm. That's fantastic. We have a heronry, so every spring, about a hundred or so herons show up and uh, will breed and have uh, chicks. And uh, that's quite adventurous and really noisy and fun to see. And we have eagles. And so one of the eagles actually stands and sits right on top of the uh, totem pole right here. This little area here, if you're looking for it, is right beside the totem pole. If you go in behind the totem pole into the woods, you'll be able to see chickadees and feed them. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Enjoy. Behind me is Clover Point, a fabulous place to catch your camera. Let's do that again. This is Clover Point, a fabulous spot if you want to come down, take a spot on one of the benches and just sit there and watch for whales. You're looking for those blowouts. you will be able to see things like seals and sea lions, of course, but it's just a lovely, lovely spot right here in Victoria. This is historical Ross Bay Cemetery. It's a really quiet and tranquil area. And behind me, you can see some deer. So if you'd like to see some deer, Ross Bay Cemetery is an ideal spot to come and check them out. 